Hello and welcome to this uh, new video series where we are going to be exploring Pencil Kit along with uh, Swift UI. So we're going to see how we can integrate Pencil Kit to uh, use with Swift UI. And uh, uh, while we are actually building it out, um, I'm going to show you how uh, you can uh, uh, basically take your Pencil Kit data and store it in core data. So basically, um, save it for later use so whenever you open your document uh, or, or open your app uh, for the pencil kit your documents that we have created um, will be saved and retrieved back uh, from core data okay so let's go ahead and, and take a look at the demo so i've got uh, two different demos here uh, i've got uh, iphone and uh, uh, this is showing the iphone version and uh, this one is showing the ipad version Okay, so let's take a look at the iPhone version first. So uh, you have the option uh, to basically select and add a new document. Um, I have misspelled it right here. I can see that, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and, um, and enter uh, a document name. So a new document. All right, and go ahead and create that. Uh, as soon as you click on it, uh, you get this blank canvas that you can actually draw in. Okay, so you have a full uh, pencil kit support. Uh, you can actually use color picker and stuff like that um, to basically draw your drawing. And then, you, and then uh, you can have like, you know, more drawings. So this is one of the drawing that I drew earlier uh, that is saved in core data so let me go ahead and kill the app all right and uh, let's go ahead and go back and as you can see our documents are still there and when you click on it you still have it so you can basically make changes and as soon as you walk out of it uh, the changes are saved automatically so you don't have to like you know press a save button or anything like that and um, and then uh, basically you can do something similar here so I'm going to choose a sort of a blue color and uh, do something and then just save it and then I'm going to basically go ahead and and uh, kill the app okay and uh, go back and let's take a look if, uh, if our changes have been saved as you can see our changes have been saved okay so that is the uh, iPhone version of the app and uh, uh, this is the iPad version similar uh, but it has like you know more iPad OS kind of look and feel you have a slide bar that can actually uh, collapse and uh, open um, and uh, collapse and expand and uh, basically have add button and you can once again add a new document so new document or iPad for example and uh, I'm going to create that and uh, let's go ahead and select this new document and start drawing something okay and you can choose different pencil types right okay so that's your drawing uh, and as soon as you walk out of course like you know it's drawn and this is one of my earlier uh, drawing and you get a full support of your uh, pencils uh, pencil kit so basically you have like you know whole bunch of things where drawing with finger is allowed uh, auto minimize to basically auto minimize your uh, pencil kit um, so it's it's a way um, when you're using it and you can actually tap on it to select your tool for example and then you go ahead and walk away and um, this I was creating a cloud so for example I create something over here and now we can actually simply go ahead and kill this and let's go ahead and relaunch and if you select a document you notice our clouds are still there okay so this whole like you know saving and auto saving and stuff like that um you're gonna be basically learning how to do all that and um and it's very simple 
and we're going to be uh, basically uh, also using uh, some of the view controllers because pencil kit does not have its equivalent for um, Swift UI. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a UI view representable um, wrapper, uh, which is uh, going to um, wrap our uh, view controller. And so you're going to see the mix of UI kit and uh, Swift UI. And uh, we're going to see how you can actually take data, uh, the drawing information that you have actually, uh, that you have uh, sort of like, you know, created within the view controller and uh, propagate it to your model so it can be changed uh, or can be saved. Okay. And once again, uh, we are going to be using core data uh, to save all these drawings on the database and uh, when you launch it back uh, you're gonna see uh, your data being saved and you can reuse that okay all right so um, so without further ado uh, let's go ahead and, and get started so I'm gonna see you guys in uh, next video where we're gonna set up our project and gonna get started with uh, core data uh, and drawing managers first along with data models and then we're gonna start working on our view controllers and views okay so i will see you guys in next video thank you